welcome. And thank you for being willing during this season of Lent to pause once more to stop for another sign recorded in the Gospel according to John. It invites you to come and see. Find a place of stillness. Take time to clear your mind and hear the quiet rhythm of your breathing. Bodies of water have varying potential. They might be placid, still, and serene, inviting the ability to capture one's own reflection. On the other hand, waters can become volatile, disruptive, and even violent and destructive. Come to the water's edge, or maybe step into the boat to meet Jesus walking on water. But first, allow this song of welcome to help get you still and to prepare you for this time. reading from the sixth chapter of the Gospel according to John. 
When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into a boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land toward which they were going. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. Here ends the reading. By now, you may have already noted the time of day when this sign occurs John tells us that it takes place when evening came. This might put you on alert for faith, or in this case, unbelief to surface. The disciples in the boat, we are told, were terrified. And as Jesus addressed them as he walks on the water, notes they are afraid. Recall any times when fear has arisen due to some circumstance or season of life. Speak to Jesus of what you remember or experienced. Unlike other accounts in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, John records no mention of a calming of the storm or the need for Jesus to control nature. We witness, on the other hand, a sign of Jesus' presence in the midst of the storm. How is it for your faith? Do you have a tendency to trust God more fully when the winds of the storms of life can be ceased and a great calm embraces you? On the other hand, have you been able to trust Jesus to be present with you in the midst of the unrest, even though the turbulence remains? Ask Jesus to grant you faith that can trust him through all circumstances. Not easily discernible in English, the second absolute I am statement is made here. The first was when Jesus spoke to the Samaritan woman at the well. Captured in this sign in John 6.20 is Jesus' direct address to his terrified disciples in the boat. 
Literally, Jesus declares, I am, do not be afraid. More important than performing some nature miracle, Jesus wants the disciples to know that Jesus, God in the flesh, is present with them at this moment. He is the I am. Be still in the silence and contemplate the powerful assurance of Jesus' unfailing presence with you through life. The sea of life brings with it uncertainty, volatility, and much that can unsettle us. How important is it for you to hear in this account that as the assurance of Jesus coming near takes place, the boat comes to rest on the shore of the sea. Take a few moments to rest in that assurance and hear Jesus wash over you with the comforting promise, I am, do not be afraid. Now listen in to Fear Thou Not by Josh Gorills. Fear Thou Not For I am with Be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. And I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Mm -hmm. And I will uphold you with the right hand. Is I know for I am with thee, be not dismayed for I am. strength 
yeah, I will help thee, and I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. And I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. May the Lord Jesus bless and keep you. May he abide with you deeply. In the storms of life, may he bring you serenity and peace. May he calm all your fears as he remains with and in you always. Finally, know that Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which were not written in this book. However, these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing, you may have life in his name. Amen.